Yo, this is Russ again coming at y'all with another YouTube video about how United is one started. It actually started on the worst and best day of my life, which was March 16th of 2016. Um, I was sleeping in front of a Chase Bank on Westport Road in Hurstbourne Lane in Louisville, Kentucky. I remember just leaving a, a White Castle that was next door eating, and I was like, I was getting tired. So I had to pick somewhere to stay because I was homeless on the streets at the time. And so I chose to st stay right in front of the bank because I figured it, it was the most secure place in the, in the parking lot. Plus one, I felt like the corner I was sleeping at, nobody would see me because the, the shadows and whatnot are blended in by wearing all black. So it was about 12.30 in, in the morning while I remember falling asleep. And the reason why I remember this day like it was yesterday is because on Wednesday, 6.30 a.m., Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we played basketball with the local talent, either it be high school, collegiate, ex-professional, or current professionals. They would come home, we would all play make it we would make it like very competitive to the point we it was like we would, it would be a gruesome but great experience playing basketball and that's something i live for so i remember it raining and i remember taking my i was laying on my right side and i remember taking the phone my phone at the time on my left pocket looking at it seeing what time it was it was 4 35. i remember readjusting the lay on my left side to put the phone in my right pocket to put my my nose in my arm like i was dabbing but that's how i was sleeping like this the jacket I had didn't disperse of water, and I and I remember um, falling asleep with water falling on my face. But I guess when I fell asleep, the water started coming down harder, and to the point where the water that didn't disperse the jacket that didn't disperse water kept the water inside my elbow. I was drowning, and um, I started drowning. But in my dream, it was crazy. My conscience pulled me to a realm in my brain where it seemed that I was dying both in reality and in my dream. Here's how I was dying in my dream. Me and my foster brothers and my, my brother who was a, um, miscarried in the year 2000, I was always seen in my dreams. We were at this, we were at this, this lake and it had this big um, like hill that you could jump off the hill to, go, to jump into the lake. So I have a big fear of heights. And all my foster brothers and my, my, my miscarried brother ran up there. We'll call him Terrell. So Terrell ran up there with the rest of the rest of the crew, and all my foster brothers jumped off the um, the hill to the water. Now, mind you, I can't I can swim, but I, I'm scared of deep water. So at this point, I don't want to do this. And I remember Terrell jumping off, and me being a protective person, I am. I jumped off after him, and when he jumped, he wasn't the 17 year old seen him to be. He was a baby. So me, in my mind, I see a baby jumping off. And I go get it, but when he went to go hit the water, he disappeared. So mind you, I start hit. I hit the water and forgot how to swim. It felt like something was pushing me down in the water. And literally, it turned me around, and I it forced my my face to look at the sun. And it was fun. The sun was literally like it got farther and farther away. And I remember my conscience pulled me uh, pulled me to another room in my 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 consciousness and. It started asking me questions, and I don't remember all the questions they asked me, but it was asking me, the, mo the question they asked me that I remember was like, what's your purpose in life? And that's something I didn't really know at the time. But I told my conscience at the time, and I feel like the answer I gave was the reason I'm still alive today is because the answer I gave is um, I never felt more alive than when I'm in the midst of affecting positive change on somebody and putting a smile on somebody's face and heart. Now, mind you, I couldn't talk, but this is something that my psychological self told uh, told my conscious and and I guess that's what um, that's what helped me wake up that's what helped me wake up so mind you when I woke up it was 6 or 5 in the morning mind you over a whole hour did pass of me experiencing this so from that moment on I just kept in my mind like yo this is my purpose this is what I want to fulfill and so originally my business name was going to be two Together we're one with an original name. And then, but I thought about it, I was like, yo, there's so many people in relationships or so many families that are, they act together, but they're not. There's so many people in relationships that are as individuals as ever. And so the name too really didn't hold any significance. It really didn't. It like it didn't hold any strength or any weight to me. So December 16th was the best day of my life, or one of them, should I say, is because I was sleeping in a park in Jeffersonville, Indiana, named Fishing park and I was sleeping in the bathroom near the softball field and I remember 
watches Voltron on Netflix. I was Netflix and chilling with myself. You know what I mean? Got to. Got to have some fun. Um, and I remember the first eight or nine episodes for Voltron where the kids finding the lion bots and they were trying to um, understand how to use them before they formed Voltron, the ultimate champion, the ultimate being. And I remember when I seen that happen, uh, my conscience was like, holy fuck, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. And I was like, I didn't know what it meant. But I knew when I seen Voltron form, I was like, united as one. I just yelled it, yelled it. When I yelled it, cops burst through the door. Draw they, they drew their guns and whatnot. And I remember being like, holy fuck, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. And I just found my purpose in life. And this around the time when cops were just killing this innocent people for no reason. I was like, I'm like, why now? Like, why now? I'm already at the worst point in my life and I'm about to die. Like, why? And the cop asked me, like, what's going on again? I was like, I was just sleeping. He was like, and he was like, what's what's all of the noise going on? I was like, I screamed because I was excited. He was like, what are you excited for? I was like, I'll show you, but I don't want to show you my phone and, I don't, and, and you shoot me because you mistake it for a weapon. And I started crying because I really thought I was about to die. And the cop pulled his gun and he was like, yo, you don't have to worry about that. I just want to make sure everything was good in here. And he was like, so what's, what made you excited? And I remember telling him, I was like, I have a business idea to help me get off the streets. And he told me, he was like, yo, what is it? And I was like, United as one. He was like, well, what does that mean to you? And I was like, well, everything, everyone, and everything under the sun is united as one. And I want to be able to help people find a purpose in life. And I want to be able to spread love and positivity. And I want to change the world other people live in. And he was like, I don't know what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. But I like where your head's at. Get some rest and I'll protect, we'll protect the door until you leave. So that was the initial mindset behind it, but I didn't really have the vision for it until I watched the ending of iRobot. And if you've seen the, the if you've seen the ending of iRobot, you'll see the the picture that the robot drew. The vision that he had in his dreams was him at the top of a mountain with a broken bridge and all the robots that were damaged or used, he was actually helping them lead them to a better place in life. And I was like, that's me at the top of that bridge, trying to build a better platform that pe people can use to get to a better place in life. And that's what I plan on doing with United as One. I wanna be able to help those who can't help themselves. I wanna be a voice to those who don't have one. I wanna be the legs of someone's dreams that don't even have dream a dream to begin with. I want to be able to be that to somebody who's not able to be it for themselves. And I feel as though with me being a motivational speaker, me being an influencer, me being a caring person I am, I know I can do it. I just have to be more effective and be more consistent and do what I need to do to reach more people like yourself looking at this video. So again, I really appreciate the fact that you took the time out of your day to listen to this video. I look forward to actually sharing more about what United One has in store in the, in the next couple months. And if you guys are interested, I do have a link in the description that can lead you straight to some um, cool merchandise from United As One. Um, and that'll be in the description. So if you don't have me um, on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and, you, uh, and, you, if, you ha and you, if you haven't subscribed to this, this um, YouTube channel, Go ahead and do so right now, and I'll make sure I subscribe back to you. I'll follow you on any, whatever platform that you want me to follow you on, and I look forward to being a great asset in your life. Y'all take care. Be easy.